production living things plants and animals produce more of their own kind through reproduction we know that plants bear flowers fruits and seeds most plants reproduce through seeds however there are some plants that reproduce through body parts like roots example sweet potato stems example rose plant and leaves example aloe vera reproduction from seeds one of the most common methods of reproduction in plants is through seeds some fruits have only one seed inside them such as plums peaches mangoes while some others have many such as papaya watermelon orange and guava structure of a seed a seed is a part of the plant that can grow into a new plant let us look at the structure of a seed it has an outer covering called the seed coat the seed coat protects the baby plant inside from injury or water loss the baby plant is also called an embryo there are two seed leaves or cotyledons they store food and provide nutrients to the growing embryo some seeds like maize rice wheat have one cotyledon and are called monocotyledonous seeds or monocots seeds of beans peas and grams have two cotyledons and are called dicotyledonous seeds or dicots germination a seed contains a baby plant inside it this baby plant will grow into a small sapling and later into a big tree only when it is sown in the right kind of soil and receives adequate sunlight fresh air and water the process by which it grows from a seed into a seedling is called germination for this it needs air water and warmth dispersal of seeds dispersal of seeds or seed dispersal is the process of scattering seeds over long distances unlike animals plants are rooted in one place and cannot move on their own in order to reproduce also dispersal of seeds ensures that more plants grow over large and distant spread out places agents of seed dispersal seeds get dispersed by way of wind water and animals these are therefore known as agents of seed dispersal in certain plants seeds also get dispersed when the pods containing them burst open dispersal by wind seeds dispersed by wind are small and light some are hairy like cotton seeds dandelion seeds of drumstick and indian elm have thin papery wings that float in the air seed dispersal by water plants that grow near or in water bodies disperse their seeds through water 
the seeds float on streams, rivers and ponds and are carried to distant places. Coconuts have a light and fibrous covering because of which they float on water and are carried to far off lands. Seed Dispersal by Animals When fleshy fruits like mango, guava are eaten by man and animals, the seeds get thrown away and dispersed. Some seeds have hooks and spines which stick to the body of the animals and are thus dispersed over long distances. Example, Caltrop, Mimosa. Birds eat fruits of banyan, fig and people tree. Some seeds get stuck to the beaks, feathers or feet of birds getting carried over to long distances. These also get dispersed when undigested seeds come out through their droppings. Dispersal by Explosion Sometimes, pods of some plants burst open on ripening, scattering the seeds over a distance. Plants produce more seeds as some seeds are wasted during the process of dispersal and all seeds do not germinate into a new plant. Example Balsam Peas Ladyfinger Mustard and Touch Me Not plant Reproduction in plants from other parts of the plant Not all plants reproduce through seeds. Their reproduction process takes place through their body parts such as roots, stems and leaves. Root The sweet potato is actually the root of the sweet potato plant. The plant does not produce any seed and reproduces through the root itself. It grows out of the root of the mother plant as seen in the picture. Stem Some stems like potato, ginger and turmeric are underground stems. In the picture you notice small growth in the form of eyes on the potato. Each one of these will grow into a new potato if it receives ideal growth conditions. These small growths are also called potato's eyes. Other examples are onion and ginger. Some plants like rose and hibiscus that is shoe flower are grown through stem cuttings. Leaves Plants such as bryophyllum reproduce through small bud-like growths at the edge of their leaves. These buds fall off from the leaves and then grow into new plants. Food from plants most living things depend upon plants for food and nutrition. Plants that are grown in large numbers are called crops. Crops have typical needs in terms of temperature, soil, water, sunlight, etc. and are thus cultivated accordingly. Rice needs a hot and wet climate and plenty of water. It is grown in rainy season. It also needs 
clay soil that can hold more water. Jowar and Badra need sandy soil. These crops are grown in winter. Wheat and certain vegetables like beans, cauliflowers and carrots need a cool climate. Cabbage, peas, radish and turnips also grow well in such conditions. Measures taken to get good quality farm produce. A good climate, adequate sunlight, water and quality soil are some important factors for growing crops. Farmers must ensure the following things to be able to get quality crops. Good quality seeds should be procured from the government outlets or preserved from the last crop taken. Soil should be properly ploughed and manure or fertilizers used should be according to the nature of the soil. Unwanted plants, that is weeds, should be regularly removed. Plants should be watered properly. Crops to be grown should be selected as per the type of the soil. Farmers must get the advice from the government appointed experts. Protection of crops from pests and insect attacks and being eaten by herbivores. Minimum use of pesticides and fertilizers. Proper storage of harvested crops.